your vision board will not manifest because you're not doing this one simple thing. You can put up all the pictures you want, all the words you want, all the affirmations you want, all the sayings you want, but if you are not doing this, unique. I'm one of one. I'm number one. I'm the only one. Don't need to waste your time trying to compete with me. No one else in this world can think like me. What are three key ways to manifest? What do you mean? Like, like create something in your life? Like, okay, number one, you first have to have the intention, okay? I'm gonna give you a little hack here. I'm just going to give it to you. Number one, you gotta think about what it is that you want unapologetically. Number two, you have to do enough self-realization, healing, uh, shadow work, whatever it is, to believe that you're worthy of the thing that you're trying to create, okay? Lastly, the energy of the thing that you want, you must embody it right now. So in layman's terms, whatever it was I wanted, maybe I wanted a new car, I had to feel and imagine the emotions of having that new car, whether it's excitement, whether it's gratitude, whatever it was, I had to embody that right now, right now, 24 seven. So I have to walk around when I'm in this beat up car, I gotta pretend that I have my dream car right now. And here's what's gonna happen. Because you feel that, you were on a metaphysical level, it's literally creating a gravity well and it's attracting it to you. That same energy of what you feel attached to that car will start to find itself come in your life more often. But then on another level, you're going to start to take actions that are more in line with you obtaining that thing because you're acting upon the energy, the feeling of you already having it. So really to make it easy for you, all you had to do was have it in your heart and feel it already and act as if it was already done, and now you won't allow, allow the ego to develop an attachment to it that would push it away as if you don't have it. Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. In today's video, I'm gonna share three law of attraction rules and logics that help me manifest probably my best year yet, and will also help me manifest my even better year in 2024. My new life affirmation is I am walking into the best seasons of my life, and well, I'm sharing that with you as well. Before we get into that, for those of you that are new to my channel, what's up? I'm your girl, Miss Brooklyn, and this is a lifestyle channel. I document my lifestyle journey as well as share motivation, inspiration, tips and tricks for tips and tricks for productivity. I'm the girl that's overcoming procrastination. I'm the girl that's building the life of her dream. I'm the girl that's doing it all. I'm the girl who just became her own boss, and I'm taking you all along on the journey with me and also helping teach you do it as well. So if you like the content that you see here on this channel, please do consider subscribing and join my community, Bestie Night Nation. I have an amazing community of best friends here. And um, when you join, you get to be a part of Bestie Night Nation. For all of my returning besties, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Now let's get into the real deal. I wanna make this video super short, but understandable. And you guys know I'm long-winded and super short is not in my vocabulary, but we are going to try because again, we are reinventing ourselves. Your vision board will not manifest because you're not doing this one simple thing. How many of you already made your vision boards? How many of you done vision boards, wrote down your goals for 2024, or even have resolutions that you said this was gonna be the year of, or this is what you're gonna do? Um, and you're back in that cycle, same way you were last year. So in my previous video, I talked about how I was able to manifest eight things off of my 2023 vision board. And it was the first time I was able to actually really pull things um, into my life that I wanted for myself and achieve goals in such a magnitude where it's just like, oh my gosh, I did not know you can do this. In my last video, we talked about how you have to actually activate your plans, your vision board, your goals, your plans. And so, Brooklyn, how do you activate? Easy. There are three rules in the law of attraction. And if those of you that did watch the last video, you remember we talked about it briefly, the have, the do, and the be. A lot of people are not emphasizing the be. They only focus on the do and the have. Some people don't even focus on the do. But we're going to talk about how we can focus on the do by focusing on the be. And ultimately, the have will naturally come. In order for you to successfully reach your goals, your full potential, and everything that you set out for yourself in the year of 2024, um, your vision boards, per se, and your, your 2024 bucket list, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, your 2024 goal list, if you know, you know. You have to activate it. And the way you 
activate it is by becoming the person that gets those things. I say this a lot and this is something you'll hear in quantum physics. You'll hear this a lot in just the manifesto world. The universe doesn't give you what you want. It gives you who you are and I find that to be very true. You, you are a mirror. Everything you have in your life right now, you, you've reflected, you called, you mirrored. Every single thing for the very most part. You shaped your reality, you mirrored, you called it. Every person you come in contact with, you called them in some way, shape, or form. Every person that you meet, you called them in some way, shape, or form. Every situation that happened in your life, you called in some way, shape, or form. And so, in a sense, we have a loving God that decided that he wanted to give us free will. And free will just means if your mind think it, you create the avenue, your heart man magnetizes it, it can come to fruition, it can come to pass. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I believe in God. And so I don't, I don't really doubt his law when he speak or the things that he speak about or the things that his son speaks about. So I don't really, I'm not, I don't really argue it. And for those of you that don't specifically just really just believe in the law of the universe or just the universe, I understand that's not your thing. But however, scripturally, it says the same thing, to be honest. <laughs> like it's so, it's so uncanny how much scripture says the same thing. Anyway, in the law of attraction, the becoming feeds the do and the, the do and the have. So what does that mean? All right, I'm going to break it down. Pictures and words. That is the have, right? So you guys, at the top of the calendar year, you all started putting vision boards together or goals together or resolutions together. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to be. This is my year. This is what I'm attracted. This is what I'm calling. In the year of 2024, I'm going to do this. In the year of 2024, I'm going to be this. Watch me do it. That's the half. The words and the pictures, that's the have. This is what you want to have. You want to have the body you always dreamed of. You want to have the bank account you always dreamed of. You want to have the car you always dreamed of. The husband, the wife, the kids, the house. You know, the apartment, deluxe apartment in the sky. Those are the haves. These are the things that you put on your vision boards. These are the things that you're speaking into existence. You know, um, you're going to go on this vacation. The vacation is finally going to leave the group chat this year. The vacation is finally going to happen this year. Those are the haves. The goals and the titles represent the do. For example, my goal is to save 50K. That's something that you do. My goal is to lose 60 pounds. That's something that you do. In order for you to have the dream body you want, what do you have to do? If I just lose 60 pounds, I will have that dream body. That is the do. If I say $32,000, I can put the down payment down on my dream home. That's the do. I need to save $32,000. If I say $10,000, I can put the down payment down on my dream car. That's the do. I need to save $10,000. That's the do. The goals and the title is the do because you got the half. I want to have this house. I want to have this car. I want to have this vacation. I want to go on this vacation. And then the titles, the do, right? The goals, the do. Last part is the most important part. And that part is the be. Who do you need to become in order to achieve the do and the have? Because the be feeds the do and the have. The bigger your goals are, the more of a transformation you have to be, you have to go through. And I hate to say it that way because a lot of people don't like transformation because that means you have to leave your comfort zone. Yes, that's exactly what that means. That means you have to go through an identity switch, which I can remember. I recommend a book by April Mason, which I had my weight loss challenge boot camp readers read this book last year. We read it together as a group called Identity Switch. I'm going to have a link down below. My 2024 read list is up and that book is actually on my 2024 read list. I absolutely recommend that book because she breaks down what an identity switch is in Exactly. And another thing is you're not going to be able to go through all your transformation and everything you need to go through without knowledge. You need the knowledge. Reading is fundamental, aka reading is fun to the mental. You need the knowledge. You can't grow higher in your purpose or in who you are by staying where you're at right now. And so a lot of people get discouraged because, oh my God, I have to change. Yes. 
If you didn't have to change, you would have had everything you wanted. Right? If you did not, how how is it that who you are in this moment is not attracting the things that you want? It has never attracted the things that you wanted. You might attract some things to an extent because deep down inside, you're reflecting that. But other things, huh, I, no matter how hard I try, I can't get you to become who you needed to become in order to get those things. That is what is missing. The B. You have to become the person that get those things. In order for you to become that person, you have to change your lifestyle habits, your rituals, and your routine. Oh my God, Brooklyn, I have to change? Yes. You have to go through a season of discomfort. For example... When I first started working out, it was embarrassing. It was uncomfortable. I couldn't do the elliptical as long as I dreamed of doing it. I couldn't do the treadmill as long as I dreamed of doing it. But I stuck to it. I would show up after the, to the gym. I was intimidated. People would look at me and say, look at that fat girl in here because it's New Year. She's working out. I had all of these negative thoughts. But I knew that this is what I wanted and this is where I wanted to be. So I joined a gym out, out of years of being terrified of the gym because I was terrified of what people were going to say what happened was after being at the gym for a week consistently two weeks consistently people started coming up to me they started talking to me started saying hey I see you in here today working hard you go girl there were men that would come up to me and say your stamina is inspiring and they would encourage All me because I went through I don't care how uncomfortable I am I'm going to keep showing up and as the weight loss progressed as they saw the changes and I still I was still attending I was still going and they saw oh she's going longer oh girl you killing that treadmill today you killing the elliptical today oh I saw you on that bike today oh you lifting now those were the conversations I had as I progressed in my journey but see had I allowed the fear of um, being uncomfortable set in settle in the fear of being judged settle in the fear of being looked at settle in I would have never went I would have never gone and I would have never stuck to it and I would not have seen the results I've seen or and I would not have found my love for actually working out at a facility instead of home because now I cannot work out at home. It's just the most boring thing to me. I don't have the same fun. So that's just an example. There's going to be times where you have to face yourself in an uncomfortable position in order for you to become who you need to become. So how do I start? The last video I asked you to write a question down. If you remember the question, go ahead and comment it right now before I say it. I'm gonna give you guys about 10 seconds so that you can comment the question. I wanna see who's paying attention. Comment the question. <laughs> Ready? Do 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 Okay, what's the question? I'm going to read to see who commented the question. <laughs> what do I need to believe true about me in order to be the living version of my 2024 goals? That's the question. Question number two is, and I hope you guys are writing this down. I'm going to say it again. What do I need to believe true about me in order to be the living version of my 2024 goals? Because right now, that's the version that is in the vision. That's the version that is scripted on the paper, the plans. But what do I need to believe true about me in order that I become the living manifestation of my 2024 goals? That means, how do I get it? How do I get this? that's on paper, that I desire, that I'm dreaming about, how do I get it to magnify its reality, to become my reality? The next question is, what do I need to do on a daily basis which will facilitate and feed my becoming that version of myself? Ask yourself this question. You have to hear it again. What do I need to do on a daily basis? Daily basis which will facilitate and feed my becoming that version of me and so that means what does my rituals and routines need to look like daily and this is where we talk about living with intention a lot of people don't plan it's a sad truth if you are black race that means African-American, African, Jamaican, like no matter what your ethnicity, if you are black race, you don't plan at all. I found out something extremely scary about the black race. Only 
six or is it 4.9% of the black race actually plans and structures their life around intention and plans. For the Hispanic community or the Latin community, it's 12%. For Caucasians, it is 46% men, white, and 41% white women. And you wonder why there's such a difference in lives and realities. You know, sometimes we like to say, oh, they're ahead or this race have an advantage, which not going to negate that. That's sometimes the truth. However, they are taught to one, have vision, two, dream, three, plan. So uh, with that said, my purpose in teaching these things are even more fueled. My purpose in getting people, especially people that look like me, to believe in planning their future, living intentional, setting routines, creating boundaries with intent to reach goals is fueled. It's, it's even more fueled now because finding that out that we're raising more, more and more people not to believe in vision, not to believe in planning, not to believe in goals, not to believe in going after it. It's sad. It's so sad. And so we go back to your daily rituals, living an intentional life, your affirmation, your routine. All of these things correlate to rituals, routine with intention. For example, I, I don't like structure and I don't like routine. However, I am the most successful in anything I do when I have structure and when I have routine. I hate mundane. I hate feeling like I'm doing the same thing every day but it has been the consistency of uh, the consistency of the structures and the routines that I implement for myself that were intentional because I was achieving goals that has gotten me success again 2023 I really got to see what it meant to live an intentional life and a structured life a disciplined life and in that season I manifested eight nearly nine nine things because the ninth manifested this at the top of the year of 2024 and that's the funny part the ninth thing came to me in the year of 2024 I did my vision board I did my list I did my goals 12 things I kept it simple because again, I like, huh, let's not overdo it. That was my thinking. God was like, oh, you think it's too small, honey. Oh, you're on path. You're, th you're thinking too small. Get bigger. And now that I see that I can get bigger, I can go for it. The sky really is the limit. Like there's, there's really no, like there, the, when they say the sky is the limit, <laughs> you can do it. You, as long as you put your mind to it, you are intentional. You set the bout, you set the routines, the goals, you move towards it every single day. You can achieve it. And that's really the truth about manifesting. It's, it's creating micro habits, micro routines, micro rituals intentionally every single day, living it out every single day until you reach the goal. Eating healthy, losing 200 pounds. It took years. It took years. It took years. It took years. But I stayed on that. No matter the ups and downs, I went right back, stayed on that and did it. Do you understand what I'm saying? The goal was achieved, is achieved, and it's still achieving because I had to become a person that believes in a simple lifestyle of eating healthy, eating right, going to the gym, getting up every day, putting in effort, counting calories, tracking macros. Do you understand the cycle, the ritual? It's routine. You gotta do it every day. I hate it. Hate it. But I was willing and wanting to sit in that season so much to get something that I wanted. And we're still in that season. We're still doing these things because we're not done yet. Now we're taking it even further. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you guys are taking notes. Have a set routine daily that is intentional. That is intentional. Let's say you're going back to school. You need to study daily. That means you have to carve out time to study every day and you have to be intentional about intentional about when you study. What is your mind the strongest? When do you have time to focus? When can you block everything out so that you can um, absorb knowledge and information? And so now you're putting your schedule together at such and such time. I'm going to study. I'm going to allocate this time to studying at such and such time. I'm going to take a break and go for a walk, get fresh air, and then I'm back at it. Do you understand your ritual? A ritual is only another word for routine. Ritual is just something you do faithfully every day. Every day. These small daily habits is just how you get to the goal. Because though we love saying the new age word, manifesting, 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 um, 
All that simply means is if you believe it with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul, with no doubt, full faith, it will happen for you. It will come for you. And that means in order for you to believe it so much, you're just going to start walking like you already got it. You're just going to start walking like you already got it. And because you're walking like you already got it, you actually got it because you took the steps. You went for it. It's not It's not necessarily, oh, we're calling things to us. We're actively working towards those things. And so it just, it comes. It comes. It just comes. Naturally, it's just falling in line. You don't have to work hard. Uh, you don't have to, you don't have to struggle to get it because you're living in a, such intentional life that doors just open. The universe is just like, oh, here. Oh, look what happened. You were at the right place at the right time with the right person. That is what intentional routines are. Intentional living is micro habiting. I am so big on micro habits because I do not believe in just going straight for one goal and focusing and setting all your energy on this one thing. I believe in micro habits and all micro habits are is small daily things that you do that take big chunk bites out of your um, overall objective and goal. So small daily micro habits. For example, I want to get into the spirit of cleanliness. And I mean, overall, I love, I enjoy watching clean time. My routine for cleaning was not the best and I wanted to refine it. So I set up in my daily routine, micro habits. So some of the things I implemented was every single day, I took 15 minutes out of my day to one. Every day I made my bed. I dressed my bed, make my bed very pretty every single day. I swifter my room floors every single day. And I take the time out to put anything that is out of place back in place. And that allows me to keep my room super clean. I set out my scheduling, my cleaning schedule is broken up. On Wednesdays, I do the bathroom and I do the entry hallway. On Saturdays, I do the kitchen and the living room. So these are little micro habits that I do throughout my week or every single day to help me have the, the type of home and the type of cleanly environment that I dream of. And so I make it a point where sometimes I'm overwhelmed in my mental and my space can start to reflect it. And if my, my space starts to reflect it, I'm now going inside of me and saying, what is wrong? What needs attention? Why am I feeling overwhelmed? And now I'm going into my schedule and my planner and like, okay, I have too much on my plate. I need to condense. I need to refine. This is not important. It's not serving the purpose. So I don't need to focus on that. Let's focus on what's serving the purpose. I hope that's a great example. Around 2024, you, do, you taking the necessary action steps to achieving your overall goal is what's going to get you the results. I can't stress being intentional enough. And this is where some people may make a mistake. It's like, Brickley, you should have come with this information before. I did. I actually put it on my brand page on Instagram, Bestie Night Nation. I did. I, I spoke about this coming into the new year, um, trying to get people right before, oh, we're doing vision boards. You can't, you can put up all the pictures you want, all the words you want, all the affirmations you want, all the sayings you want. But if you are not doing this, if you are not living intentional, if you are not creating daily plans and habits intentionally geared to fuel, if you're not doing micro habits intentionally geared to fuel those goals, they're not going to come. Faith without works is dead, right? Vision and goals are just that until you start working through them. They're just vision, goals, and dreams. Your dreams don't fall into your lap. No one has ever just dreamt something and it just fell into their lap. They had to work some way, shape, or form to get it. And it is the same thing here. So you can want manifest this and a third. But if you don't do the necessary steps, if you don't go to work every day, how are you going to save that $10,000 for the down payment on your dream car? If you don't cut back on your expenses, the Netflix, the Hulu, the Disney Plus, the Uber Eats every two days, how are you going to get these things? If you don't take away from certain expenses and learn how to do it at home, $200 for nails, that was me. The girl that was okay with paying $200 for nails. My pedicures are $75, plus I gotta give a tip. Nails, $200. Enough was enough. That money could've went somewhere else. God, oh my gosh, why don't I have money? This is just an example. 
I stopped spending $200 on nails and learned how to do it at home. I was able to start saving bigger stacks of money because I'm gonna take this and put this elsewhere. It's good to have a, 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 a have an abundant mindset, but are you being intentional with the abundant mindset? Are you sowing the seeds where they need to be sown? So these are all things that, you know, again, another example of being intentional. I am being intentional. And so I always say, before you take those pictures and you start visualizing, you need to one, first visualize who do you want to become? How you have to see it before you see it. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to become? You see, you have to see the higher self, the higher version of your, yourself. Visualize and really get to know that person. The, the highest version of yourself, you have to get to know that. And that means talking to yourself internally. That means sitting with yourself. I want to be brave. I know I'm brave. I want to speak my mind. I want to stand on boundaries. Sit with yourself and then... Then we go into the visualization, the pictures and stuff like that. Because now that we got acquainted with the highest versions of, of ourselves, we know what to look for. We know what we're attracting because we know who that person is, right? So to speak, we know what we're attracting. We know what we're calling in. The next thing you would do is you would intentionally build the vision around it. Intentionally build the vision. And then when you intentionally build the vision, now you intentionally build the Say it with me, the do, which is the goals and the titles. The goal is around the, the, the vision. You, the goal is to do this so that I can have that. The goal is to do this so that I can have that. And then lastly, who do I need to become? What does my daily routine need to look like? Who do I have to be every day in order to get those goals? And that is how you manifest Best. And I'm going to say manifest. That is how you manifest. That's that's exactly how you do it. In order for me to attract the nine things I attracted off of my 2023 vision board, I had to become. I had to do. I had to move intentionally. If it did not serve the purpose, I had to let it go. I had to ignore it. I could not fuel into it or feed into it because it did not feed the goal, the do, or the have. So, that is the main thing that you guys need to take away from this video. Who do you need to become in order for you to manifest the living version of your 2024 vision board or your 2024 goals? And lastly, we all know how I feel about scripting. We all know, we all know how I feel about scripting. Write it down in, in play, like make it plain. Have backup to two. I'm always gonna quote it. Write the vision down and make it plain. Write it in detail. Be very specific. Always in past tense. I did this. I wore this. I ate this that day. I felt like this. Insert gratitude. Insert how you feel. How it made you pull those emotions out. Because the heart magnetizes. And that heart is what makes it real. Because the heart is what sends out that vibration. The heart. Out of the abundance of the heart. The mouth speaks. Do you understand how powerful that is? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So your words are fueled by your heart. What is in your heart? Do some digging. I was so happy. I fell to my knees and gave thanks and gratitude in that moment. You got to be so passionate about how you write that story, that script of what the very thing that you're attracting. Be so passionate about it. Be obsessed with the feeling that in the moment that you're writing it, you are feeling every emotion your happiness your joy your gratitude your in that moment you need to feel it your humility you need to feel all of it in that moment every single time every single time you script your heart away and notice i said script your heart away for a reason this is how you do it because those vibrations come out and you start to believe it so much that you believe you're this person that's getting it. You walk in it. You have that faith that it's yours. You're having it. This is how you do it. So I really hope this video was helpful. And I created the perfect daily planner slash becoming her scripting book. For those of you that know, you know, you got it, you got it. She's here. She's here. You can have your vision board here, your planning here, everything that you need here micro habits your goals how you're gonna attack it i created the perfect daily planner or manifestation planner that is going to help you achieve every single thing you're trying to achieve 
in the month in the year of 2024 it even has guided scripts to help you script and visualize and it has a vision board section so that you can keep your vision board with you at all time keep your mind and your heart on the prize the, the way that the daily planning is even broken down is intentional click the link down below to get yours if you have not gotten your hands on you i just did a small restock of 75 of them and that's that's it because i only was down to 20 left and i restocked another 75 i did a small shipment of 75 left so that's it whatever is left is left your girl can't put nothing out to that anymore i have other plans and goals happening but we gotta we're just gonna focus on it we're not gonna talk about it but yeah click the link down below in the description box and use the coupon code that girl 10 to get 10 percent off and it's already marked down so save some coin get it at a discount uh, while it's up, I think there's eight days left to save on the coupon code that girl 10. So yeah, if you are a person that decided that this year you are finally going to move steps, take the initiative, go through what you need to go through so that you can grow through it. This is your time and that is the planner for you. And I hope these videos are helpful. I hope it helps you to be more productive. I have a lot more in store for you guys with productivity and things of that sort. So stick around. We are just deep diving. That's it for this video. I hope it helps you a lot. I hope it serves you and I hope it fuels your purpose. You are never too late to live out your dream life. It is never too late. You are never too late. You are right on time. You are right where you need to be in this very moment of life in order for you to wake up and live the life you know you deserve to live i love you guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up drop some comments or questions down below i will answer it because i'm not one of those people that ignore their followers i love you and i'll see you all in my next video bye